everybody. I'm doing another favorites video, but I'm going to name this one March. I started off running my monthly favorites videos the month after the month I was wearing all those items or using all those items, but I decided I'm using a lot of things and wearing a lot of items that I've had for ages, years, sometimes decades. So it seems to me it makes more sense to actually run my favorites in the month it's named after. So I'm just going to combine February and March and start off new with this favorites video. I have fashion, accessories, eyewear, and a makeup product that's new. Some of them are brand new. Some are things I've had for quite a few years. I'll start off with the makeup item. It's this Lip Caramel by 100% Pure. Now I have shown you two other lip caramels in some other videos. In fact, my recent video where I wore the poncho with the long white shirt and the ankle boots, I was wearing the Lip Caramel in Plum Wine. And that was this one. And several months ago, I wore the Lip Caramel in Melon, and that is this one. So you can see they're very different colors from each other. Now I think this one, the tr this is Truffle, my new one. It's coming off looking kind of pinky mauve on here, but I think it's more brick when I was applying it um, in the mirror in front of the window, it looks more brick. So we'll see how it looks on the video, but they call it truffle. And I think in the viewfinder, it's looking like it's more reddish brick on me. So that's truffle. Let me show you what it looks like on the wand. Now, the way I like to apply this is typically all three of these is to apply it, blot it, and then keep applying and re-blotting until I achieve the depth of color I want, and then I finish with shea butter. The reason I like to do that is it's a really super intense color, and I like to build it, I, and I also don't want it as glossy as it is, but I decided to try yesterday to see what it looks like if you use it as is. So what I did is I just moisturized my face, I put a little shea butter on my lips, then I blotted the shea butter off so that I had very little left on my lips. Then I applied this, smoothed it around with my little finger, then I left it for three hours. I didn't drink any water, I didn't eat anything, I didn't reapply any product, and it was still moist and it was still really dark color. Now, was it as glossy as when I started? No, but I'd say the, the really glossy look lasted for about an hour and a half to two hours, and then it started just to look moist rather than glossy. Um, also, color. The color was very intense initially, and that lasted along with the glossiness for about two hours, and then it started to slightly be less intense in the third hour, but I'm telling you, it was very hard to tell the difference. I was really looking carefully so I could tell you and give you a review. In my last video, I didn't explain that. I made it sound like it dries to a stain, and that's only because I was blotting it, and that was with the uh, plum wine. So it does not dry to a stain unless you blot it. What happens is I remove all the moisture and what's left behind is a stain. So that's why I would always use shea butter. But that's how I like to wear it for two reasons. Like I said, I like it a little less glossy and the color a little less intense. So here I'm wearing the melon drop with the white Oxford shirt. That outfit, I was wearing jeans and uh, ballet flats. Cute summer look. This lipstick is very feminine, girly. It's definitely a melon color. I think it looks great with pink or with peach, uh, definitely with melon colored corals, and just a really attractive summer, spring color. 
The other one, the plum wine, I'm wearing it with the poncho I wore in the last video and the long white shirt and my ankle boots. This is a wonderful deep, deep plum wine color. I love this color. It's the deepest of all the colors. It lasted in terms of intensity very well. Just a great color. I think this looks great year round, as does the Melon Drop, but it's, Melon Drop is a great way to sort of feel spring and summery um, just because the color feels that way. By 100% pure, which means they don't have any unhealthy ingredients, it's all natural, they're fruit pigmented, just terrific colors. Next is eyewear. Now, all of you are familiar with the sunglasses I've been wearing for the last year and a half, I'm sure, because you see me wearing them whenever I'm driving or outside. I love them. These are Kate Spade. I, I got them two summers ago, and I got them also in a clear, and so I have two pair of the same glasses, one for indoors and one for outside. But I wanted to get a backup pair because my backup pair, I broke the nose piece about a year ago. And I have been looking online in department stores, in drug stores, grocery stores, and haven't found anything I liked. And then I found these. They're also Kate Spade. I just got them yesterday and they fit, they're beautiful, and I can't wait to show you. So all Kate Spade glasses come in these great hard case boxes. They also come with a, cleanse, a cleaning cloth. And here are, oh, isn't that cute? See the cute interior of the case? But these are the glasses. I just think they're gorgeous. They're large, which is what I wanted, but I didn't want them to be so large that they look comical on me. I also wanted a different shape than my others, and these are, I mean, they're still rectangular, but they're rounded. I just really think they, they're beautiful. They are a brown frame, but they're slightly different up close. They're also a bit darker, I think. These are tortoise, and these are brown horn. Now they both have the brown lens. That's, I think, my favorite color for a couple of reasons. The brown, it, it seems like you can get them really dark that way. And for our sun, which is so bright, I need a darker lens for my sunglasses. Also, I think brown is really flattering to my face. Maybe it's because of my hair color. I don't know. My eyes are brown. Maybe it has something to do with that. I also like how these swoop up slightly on the outer upper edges or corners. I think that's very uplifting to the face. And I just think they're so pretty. I also notice that they curve to the face and it helps them fit really snugly so they don't fall when I move my head down, but they're not so tight that they hurt my head. I was also surprised that even though they're larger, they don't feel that heavy. They're just very comfortable. So I love the detail on the arms. Is that what you call them? The arms of the, I'm not sure, of the glasses. It's the Kate Spade logo. It's, it's big enough that you see something gold, but it's not overwhelming. So it just looks like a pretty accent. All the way around, just really pretty pair of glasses. I'm thrilled. So I'll put a link in fact, everything I'm showing on my blog, I will, everything I'm showing in the video, I'll be sure and list it on my blog, and I'll put the link to my blog down below in the description box, and it will say, get these looks. So those are my terrific sunglasses from Kate Spade. These are my chukas, also known as duck boots. I was wearing this one in a video recently. It was the vlog where I went to Food and Thought and I had lunch with my brother. They're a little bit different than most duck boots or duck shoes and that's why I bought them. I started with 
a black pair two years ago, and I've since gone on to acquire four more, those three and a navy pair. But let me show you what the shoe looks like. A typical duck shoe or duck boot has a higher profile. In other words, the sides, co sides come up higher and the back and the toe box comes up higher. So there, I think it's also a thicker rubber because they just look like a heavier shoe. And that is originally what I was going to buy about two years ago when I went online. But then I started looking around and I found these. And I loved the lower, slimmer, lighter look of them. So let me show you a couple of pictures of me wearing these little cute things. They're so much fun. Here in this first photo, I'm wearing my classic black chukas with clam diggers, I think is what you call them. And it was supposed to be a rainy day that day and it didn't rain and I was fine because I liked the look of the moccasins anyway. This other photo, I'm wearing the same classic black moccasin or chukka. I hadn't bought the navy ones yet, so I'm wearing them actually with a navy gingham shirt. Then this photo, you will remember it was from the vlog with my brother. And I'm wearing these tulip colored shoes with my Calvin Klein jeans rolled up and a white t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, and a bag I've had for, I don't know, 15 years that matches the trim on the Chukka shoe. And I wore those all day. And I've had so many compliments on these shoes when I wear them. They're just really cute shoes. So next, I want to show you my clothes. So these are new items. The first one is this top. Now this is from Talbots. It's their twist front blush top. I love that it's the cap sleeves. Cap sleeves are terrific because they give you that sleeveless look, but they still give you coverage on your arm and also on your shoulders so you're not having to worry about any under things showing. I also like the length. It was long enough to be able to be tucked in, but not so long that you couldn't wear it with a skirt um, and leave it out. I'm not a fan of wearing super long shirts out with a skirt because then it's cutting you off and then the skirt cuts off your legs. But this one's perfect with pants or a skirt. And it's got these little bitty dots of fabric um, all over it. So let me show you. You can see that. It's just a really pretty top. I'll show you me wearing this um, in an outfit at the end of the video. In fact, I'll show you all the items in outfits at the very end of the video. I found a jacket to go with it. In fact, I went into Talbot's to try on this jacket, which I'd seen online, and saw this. They're the same color. This is a knit jacket. It's 100% cotton outside. The lining is polyester. It's got cute anchors all over the lining. It has flat pockets, which are, I believe they're real pockets. They look real, but they're nice and flat, so maybe they're not real. I love the gold buttons. There's two gold buttons here, and they have the Talbot's crest, and then gold buttons on the sleeve. And I think that allows you to dress up the jacket and wear it with skirts and high heels and jewelry at the neckline and do a really pretty dressy outfit. But at the same time, you can dress it down, wear it with jeans, flats, and it works just as well. It's a nice length because it's not too long that you can't wear it with a skirt, but it's not too short so you can't wear it with pants just a gorgeous jacket and I love the knit it's um, so comfortable it's not stiff it drapes nicely but it's still structured just my next item is this shirt now I've been looking for a long white shirt for probably a year I think 
you remember in my Marshalls video, I tried on a long white shirt I loved, but it was a medium and I needed an extra small. I never found it anywhere in my size. And I kept looking and couldn't find anything. And then I found this by Isaac Mizrahi. I'm wearing this, in fact, in my last fashion video with the poncho and the long white shirt, white skinny jeans, and my ankle boots. This is the shirt. It more than covers my bum, which is perfect. I describe this as a boyfriend shirt that's more fitted because it's up the top, it's a very nice lady shirt and down here it's more loose fitting. So just a beautiful long white shirt. In the video I'll be showing you with uh, some slim pants. It looks so cute. But I like it by itself or with something over it. And these are pixie pants from J. Crew. Now you might say, well, they look like leggings, but I'm telling you, they do act more like pants because they're thick, thicker material. They seem to have more coverage in terms of, you know, lumps and bumps. It also does have a zipper down the back. I found out online that they also come with a fly front if you prefer, but I liked the idea of having a flat area on the front so that if I was wearing a thinner sweater there was no bulk underneath the sweater over my belly. So the other thing that's nice about these pants, pixie pants, is this seam. It runs the length of the back of the pants from the top over your bum all the way down the leg. That has an amazing effect. It's really flattering to the bum I don't know how that works, but I was amazed at the way these looked from behind. And these are the heathered charcoal color. I think they come in three colors, navy, black, and charcoal. I think navy is one of them. And I had thought I would order black, but they didn't have black in my size, so I went with the charcoal. I ordered them, and I was thrilled. I like the charcoal probably better because I already have dark navy leggings and these look black indoors or in, at night but outside you can see this heathered effect and it's just so interesting. It also doesn't collect lint like, like black would. Yes. They come in two lengths too which was important to me. I got the shorter length because my legs are actually pretty short for my torso and they ended up being ankle length on me but um, that's always nice is when you have a choice. Another item that I had a choice in length was this jacket from J. Crew. I've been searching for a white blazer jacket for quite some time. And then I came across this one. This is their, what do they call this, vanilla white. So it's not optic white and I'm so happy that I got this instead because it just seems to be such a flattering color. Um, I think it'll look great with optic white skinny jeans or with, you know, a lot of different colors. I love the faux, I guess it's, it looks like faux tortoise buttons on the sleeves and one button on the jacket. I believe these are faux pockets, Besom pockets has the back vent. The blush jacket had a back vent also. I don't know if I showed you. This is by stretch cotton, really comfortable so that when you move your shoulders like this, it isn't tight. It stretches with you, which is terrific. So I'm really happy. Oh, I didn't even notice it's got a Besson pocket up here on the chest too. Really happy with that jacket. So that is all my fashion items. Now I want to show you a video of all these items put together in outfits so you can have a better idea of how they wear. And I'll be right back after that.
so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section here at YouTube or on my blog or Facebook, or Instagram. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.